It's Friday and you're wondering what to watch next. So let's talk about Mindhunter and Blinded by the Light. Hi everybody, I'm Shannon. I'm gonna start off by talking about a couple things from last week. First of all, The Handmaid's Tale season finale. Wow, okay. Everyone was saying this season was a little bit slow. I agree it was, but the finale, wow, there was a lot of payoff there. And you know, I'm ready for this show to end after season four. I'm totally okay with that. Too many shows go on too long. June has done some good stuff and she just needs to move on to Canada and be done with it. I'm ready. Um, if you are not watching The Handmaid's Tale, it's a Hulu original. And it is, you know, when I first heard about this show, I heard the name The Handmaid's Tale and I kind of saw some of the costuming and stuff. And I mistakenly thought it was going to be like a historical piece about like midwives or something like that. You know, I don't know. I had like a completely wrong impression about the show. It's actually set in the near future where birth rates are on a steep decline, like women are not getting pregnant. And there's a portion of America that becomes a new country called Gilead, where women are essentially forced to have children for the powerful commanders and their wives who can't have children. It is a phenomenal show, definitely in my top five of all shows ever. I can't report back on anything from last week because I didn't watch anything. I still have Glow on my list. I still have Woo Assassins on my list. I didn't go see The Kitchen in theaters because it got abysmal reviews and I wasn't going to waste my money. On the other hand, the Dora movie got awesome reviews. I'm not interested, but a lot of people my age whose kids grew up on Dora said that it was really well done, that it made fun of itself in a really good way and they enjoyed it. So. Maybe one you wanna check out if you're looking for a late summer movie. Before we move on to this week's shows, I just wanna remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell so you can get notifications, and also follow me on Facebook and turn on notifications for that. So every Friday, you will never have to ask what to watch next. Season two of Mindhunter drops today on Netflix. Now it has been almost two years since the first season of Mindhunter. I have not seen this show. I, I probably will see it someday. It is about serial killer investigations and they didn't even send out any screeners to critics for season two because they, they wanted to keep such a tight wrap on the storyline. I have heard rumors that there is a Charles Manson element. Also dropping on Netflix today is a show called Diagnosis. Now this is, I guess, based on a New York Times columnist, okay? Uh, a, a doctor who had this column where people would write in and say what they thought about medical mysteries, okay? She would write her column about uh, some kind of medical mystery that she couldn't solve or didn't have an answer to, and people would apparently write into her and sometimes solve the problem, solve the case, as it were. Um, this looks kind of interesting to me. I'm not really a big fan of the medical kind of things, but it's a docu-series, and I think this is something my mom would really like. She is totally into medical type stuff. There's also the Netflix original Sex Tablets. This is Marlon Wayans trying to be Tyler Perry, I think. Uh, it looks like a ripoff of Medea. Marlon Wayans plays a guy who discovers that he is one of six siblings and he plays all of the siblings in the movie. So if you like Medea, you might like this one. On Amazon Prime Video, we have a new comedy special from Jim Gaffigan called Quality Time, and I know my podcast co-host Phaedra is a big fan of Jim Gaffigan. Then we've got three movies coming out today in the theater, Good Boys, 47 Meters Down, Uncaged, and Blinded by the Light. Good Boys, I've really been looking forward to this summer. It is a Seth Rogen produced movie about three 12-year-old boys who need to learn how to kiss for their first kissing party. It looks raunchy, it looks adorable, and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Then there's 47 meters down uncaged. You know, a uh, pass, I don't know why we're doing more of this. I don't need to see, once again, some stupid women diving and getting attacked by sharks, so definitely not for me. 
But then there's a movie that I hadn't heard a lot about. Apparently it was a huge hit at the Sundance Film Festival. It's called Blinded by the Light. This movie is adapted from a real life memoir about a British Pakistani boy, 16 years old, growing up in London, and how Bruce Springsteen's music essentially changed his life. The reviews for this movie are fantastic. And while I'm not really a Springsteen fan, I definitely remember being a teenager and feeling like a song was written just for me or that it would completely impact my life. So I am going to check this one out in the theater. And that is all I have for this week. Thank you for watching What to Watch Next. See you next time.